Hello guys and welcome back to Club One, part four of our Let's Play series where we attempt to go from non-league football to winning the Champions League. We're back here today with Blythe Spartans. We've got two matches for you. First is our FA Cup replay against Starbridge. We did play them at the end of last episode. If you haven't seen that one, go back and watch it. And we've then got a match in the league against sixth placed Chorley. We are doing quite well still at the moment. We are second place just behind Fly by one point. But for the moment, we've got to get across and focus on this match against Stourbridge. They were a very stern opponent last time. We need to make sure we are getting past them in this match. Here is our lineup for that one then. We've got Johnston in goal, a back four of Lidl, Lees, Buddle and Sharif. We've then got O'Donnell, Reed, Clark and Thompson in midfield. Clark coming in just to replace Devedix in this match, just for fitness more than anything. And then Brown, Sterling and Maguire up front. This is pretty much the team that faced Starbridge in the last match but it is hopefully one that can go on in this one and get a better result than last time we were 2-0 up in that match obviously before going on to draw 2-2 as the final result as always if you do enjoy today's episode please do drop a like down below on the video really helps out with the engagement rate and the algorithm on youtube and it'd be really appreciated so far i feel like we're doing a reasonably good job with blithe spartans i think like i said in previous episode we are obviously meant to be down in the relegation zone and so far we aren't it's a big ball here forward to maguire maguire almost getting a nice early goal there for us before the five minute mark we've got a corner here off of that one little now into i believe that was buddle or maguire one of the two and Starbridge have got the ball here and can launch a counter-attack of their own. We have kind of momentarily managed to stop it there, but not completely. The highlight has come to an end, though. So I assume we managed to eventually stop that attack from happening. I'm really hoping with Spartans this year that we can kind of at least get off into those sort of playoff positions in the league. And if we can have a really good run in the FA Cup, I'd be quite happy with that. O'Donnell here trying to make that happen, getting into the box. It's a cross to nobody cut out by Starbridge. It has been clear by them but the resulting header has allowed us to come forward here with O'Donnell another cross in the box to Brown Sterling Brown Sterling getting his eighth goal of the season off of a header maybe he is a target man after all not quite tall enough or with good enough heading for my liking but he seems to put them in quite regularly at that far post with his head so maybe I'm wrong and everyone else is right it's a good start for us though. Less than 15 minutes gone on the clock. Brown Sterling there putting us ahead. And we should, I'd imagine, be the team coming out on top here. Lidl now with another corner. It's into Buddle. Buddle's bundled that one home as well. It's his fifth goal of the season. All of them coming off of corners. We do seem to be coming be becoming a team that is good at those set pieces which i think is something we do want in every football team that i am going to manage on football manager i love a good set piece and i know maybe it seems a little bit op but if you were a football manager and you knew your team could consistently score goals from set pieces i think you would go and do it i would be very surprised if you had a manager you know if you had pep guardiola at man city and he knew he could stick someone i don't know he could stick ruben diaz at the far post and guarantee himself 15 goals a season off of corners there is no way that guardiola would be there going ah it feels a bit like cheating so i'm sticking with it starbridge here though with a corner of their own they've managed to bundle it away was that an own goal it was jj o'donnell just bundling that one into his own net after we scored the other end off of a corner. O'Donnell here. I, I think that was kind of cleared by us. And then it kind of came off O'Donnell. I'm not really sure what's happened there. But once again, we are being pegged back by Starbridge. They have got a goal back here. 2-1 now on the clock. It is 25 minutes gone. Brown Sterling there trying to get onto that ball as it was cut forward for him, but he didn't quite manage it. We have managed to recycle possession here now with O'Donnell. O'Donnell trying to make up for that early mistake into Brown Sterling. It's an absolute replica of the first goal in this match. It's a cross from O'Donnell to the far post for Brown Sterling to just nod home. 
Brown Sterling is turning out to be a very, very good signing. I wasn't too sure on him when I brought him in, but as it turns out, he's gonna he's turning into a very, very good signing this season. That is his ninth goal for Blythe Spartans, and we're only five or six games in. I think maybe seven games in the league. I'm not actually sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm not gonna pretend that I am a analyst and I know the numbers. But O'Donnell here having a bit of a strange game. He's got two assists and an own goal. It does give him an 8.1 rating as it stands though, which I guess we can't complain about. It's just a little bit of a strange one as it stands for him. But again, he is being really, really good over on that left-hand side for us. He does seem to be hyper consistent. He has the stamina of a dead swan. But, you know, when he, when he's alive and well, he's a good player. And we go out on a 3-1 lead against Stabridge for the second half. Hopefully, we can just keep that one going now. It looks like it's going to be a free kick for us just outside the area. Is O'Donnell going to take a shot here? He is going to take a shot here, but it has just gone over the top of the bar. Couldn't keep that one quite down enough, and it's not going to add to our goal tally for today. But we are looking now very, very comfortable. Obviously, going to Stourbridge, they managed to come back. You know, probably had the fans behind them. Their support there. Maguire now in the box as well. Can he cut it back for someone? He's cut it all the way back to Lidl. Reed now to Clark. Out to Sharif. Can we get a cross into the box or make something of this? Sharif now. Is he going to cross it? He has crossed it into Brown Sterling. It's Brown Sterling's hat trick. I believe they have all been from headers. Again, I feel like we need to just keep abusing Brown Sterling and telling him that he is absolutely not a target man because he seems motivated to prove us wrong in that regard. And he is scoring them consistently with his head. So I feel like we just go with what works and we just keep abusing brown sterling given we are 4-1 up now with 60 minutes gone though i think we do kind of need to think about the game ahead so we're going to take off Maguire and we're going to bring on jamie clark instead of him and who else do we really want next match i guess sam reed comes off devadix does come on there in that case in place of him just to rest some legs here ready for our league match against chorley this match itself is being played midweek i believe and obviously the chorley match is happening on saturday and all of our guys are going to be very very tired from having to play two matches in one week as well as fulfill their obligations at b&q in their secondary jobs because we are only a part-time team so we don't necessarily pay these guys a huge amount of money we're going to bring on mikion here for jj o'donnell he isn't great over on that left hand side but he's going to do a job for the last 15 minutes just to fill in there because again we know jj o'donnell does not have very much stamina i'm not actually sure how old he is but he definitely hasn't got a full developed set of your lungs yet He's very much, you have to substitute him off every match. And I do think if we're going to use him a lot this season, we probably need to start resting him in the less important games or the games we think we're likely to get a win just to preserve him a little bit because he isn't someone that you can leave on a whole match. I don't think he's played a whole 90 minutes yet this season. But it's a very good win for us as it turns out. Obviously, that 2-2 draw against Starbridge forcing us into this replay. But we've gone and done that job. And we've gone and done it well, a 4-1 win for us on the night. And now we just need to turn our attention over to the match against Chorley. And this is the lineup we are going to be using for that match against Chorley. We've got Johnson in goal, back four of Lidl, Lees, Watson and Evans. Evans coming back in as our right back. And hopefully he can do a little bit better than he did before. We've got O'Donnell, Reed, Devadix and Sharif in midfield. And Brown, Sterling, Maguire remaining up front. We have got a couple of niggly fitness issues. They're not players that can't play today or are likely to get injured or likely to be too tired, but they are players that we are aware little bit short on fitness and might not see out the entirety of this match. So why we're waiting for a replay to happen never mind we have got a highlight evans with a throw in there not doing anything with that but it's come back out to him evans over to dividix reed now out wide to little little in bags and bags of space here can he get across into the box he can little into brown sterling brown sterling 
heading the ball, but it is over the crossbar, trying to replicate those three goals from the last game. So a question why we are waiting for a highlight. I'd be really, really interested. Comment down below, what would you like to see on the channel? So at the moment, we've obviously got this series four times a week being uploaded on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings. But also, I'd like to put some other stuff on the channel. Devadix into Brown Sterling here, just wide again. I'd like to put some other stuff on the channel that you guys would like to see. So recently we've done a rebuild with RB Leipzig. We've done a couple of sort of how-to, I guess, helpful tip videos. So we did the top 10 transfer budgets, as well as how to develop your youth players and young players and wonder kids, which has done really well on the channel. I'd be really interested if you have something you'd really like to see on the channel series or individual episode wise, comment down below and let me know. But now we're turning our focus to the match and Chorley are on the attack here. We're not doing a lot to stop them either, but we are just about keeping them at bay. They're just dancing around the edge of the box now. It's a cross into them, but it is on the wrong side of Cardwell, so we can't shoot first time, luckily for us. And we are just keeping them outside the box. It's a cross in now and it has gone wide. So Johnston not quite being forced into a save there. We're ahead on possession stats. Devadix with a free kick there to the far post i think mcguire was the one who got his head to it but again nothing coming off that one it does seem like a pretty evenly matched game so far definitely in terms of shots possession we are way way ahead and obviously surely we can see we've got two yellow cards at the moment so they are potentially just breaking down our attacks by breaking our players' legs. Little with a throw in now. Maguire's managed to get on the end of it. Maguire's been pushed over by the looks of it. And Sean Reed is going to be the one that taking the penalty for us. I don't know if it's normally him who takes it. I guess it would be. Sean Reed stepping up for this penalty. It's been saved. Oh, that's annoying. It's been saved. We managed to keep hold of possession though. Can we make something of it? No, we can't. That's very, very, very unfortunate. Sean Reed there. Sean Reed, are you normally the person that should be taking my penalties? Because I don't feel like you should be. I get me, yeah, apparently you should be. Apparently you're the best guy to take penalties on the team. Carl Bryan can kind of do it and Brownstone kind of do it, but his composure isn't as good. So yeah, okay, Sean Reed should be the person taking the penalties. We don't really have a very good penalty taker at all in the team. So I guess he's the best of... A not very good selection of players when we come to penalties. Hopefully that doesn't sort of kill our morale now within the team for this match. And we just can kind of ignore that, draw a line under it, go out, play some football and, you know, win a game. And it would if we win today. I think we'd remain just behind Flyd as it stands. That's a fantastic save. I don't know if it was actually Johnston who managed to save it or if we just cleared it off the line. It was kind of hard to see. Evans now actually getting his head to a cross and getting rid of it. So he's made an improvement already. And Evans again now with a cross into the box. So Sharif, it's very low. He's tried to shoot, but it's fallen to Maguire. Reed now, Reed to Lidl. Lidl with a shot. It's saved again. And we've just forced Chorley into making a clearance there. It was kind of a bit of a rushed clearance more than anything. Lidl now with a corner into Maguire. Maguire's got his head to it. And that is going to put us 1-0 up off the corner. No, it's not. It's been called back for offside by the referee. That's a bit irritating. I thought we'd gone one up. That's very, very annoying. We have got some tired players on the field now. Lidl being one of them. So we're going to just swap Lidl and Watson around. And we'll take Lidl off. And we'll bring on Buddle for Lidl there. And then who else have we really got? I mean, Watson's not having a great game, but I think at the moment, given the unfit players in the team, we do leave him on. Maguire's not exactly having a great one either. But again, we kind of have to focus on the ones that aren't fit. Reed's having a decent game, even after missing that penalty. O'Donnell's mm, looking pretty tired. So I feel like we bring on Robbie Dale here as an inverted winger on attack. So we have completely changed that left-hand side of the field. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But we have also managed to take off both players who were on a yellow card. So that's potentially protecting the squad a little bit. It's now just a case of can we go and get a goal? Or are we going to just slump to a draw here against Chorley, even though we've definitely had the better chances? I'm seeing now as well that Brown Sterling is tired. We're going to take him off. We'll bring on Lewis McNow. He's very much just our 
bench warmer come on for the end of games. Watson going to be taking the corner here. Corner into Maguire. Nope. Nothing coming of that one. We didn't really make enough of that corner. We do normally do quite well with them, but then we get the occasional one like this. It's just not good enough. And I, I feel like at the moment we should feel very, very disheartened that we're not winning this match, really, because we've definitely had the better opportunities, especially with that missed penalty from Reed. And we are the team on top. So we are, should be very disappointed if we don't win this one. That's a big clearance from a goalkeeper again. It's just fallen to us and we can rebuild here now though. Mick now back to Watson. Watson over to Reed, out to Dale. He's just playing in that as that inverted winger. So cutting very, very slightly inside, making a slightly more narrow. Sharif now pushing that one forward for Evans. Evans is getting there. It's a cross into the box. No one on the end of it. Sharif again, though. Sharif rattled the crossbar there with that shot from range. And it just doesn't feel like it's going to happen today. We are pushing and pushing. And surely, really, for their shots, haven't had a lot of XG or a lot going on. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to break them down today. It is full time. It's a nil-nil draw against Chorley. Really unfortunate there because we definitely were the better team and probably deserve to win that one. And with that result, it does leave us second in the table. We remain above Gateshead on alphabetical order and we are three points behind Flyde. I'll be interested to see as well. Flyde's 10-game unbeaten run continues. At one point when I looked, they were drawing. <laughs> I'll be interested to see when it is we actually play Flyde. It's not... For a few games yet. Um, we have got the next match here. Which is the FA Cup 4th qualifying round. Against Notts County. I mean that could be a good game. They are in the league above us. And then we've got the match against Hereford as well. Is our next two. Which is in the league. So potentially. Although these are very early on in the season. I do think the Notts County game is an interesting game. Because it will be interesting to see how we do. Against higher opposition. I'd imagine it's not going to be very well. But it'd be cool to see. As always though guys. If you did enjoy today's episode. Then drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. While you're down there as well. And we'll be back in our next episode. For that match against Notts County. And see if we can beat someone in the league above us. Until next time though guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you are enjoying the content on the channel. Then why not have a look at this video next.